All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I mean, over-the-top beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here in L.A., baby. <coughs> L.A., California. It is the last day of the fall of 2022, I believe. We can kiss goodbye the fall of 2022, so that would make it Tuesday, December 20th, 2022. And uh, so anyway, guys, uh, I have been, of course you know what I have been enjoying doing. I don't know, I have the, the wrong shirt. I have my Fauci shirt on today. Uh, <coughs> what I have been doing, of course, uh, is enjoying what is it the t reading the 2400 comments uh <laughs> i received uh on soft white underbelly yesterday where your old doomer <clears throat> uh, was interviewed for the first time in my life uh was interviewed by somebody outside of the doomosphere so, you know, putting my worldview out there for the normies, for the normies. Now, it's hard to say that Mark's channel, Soft White Underbelly, is a, I won't call that a normie channel. And Mark himself is it, it, certainly, he's not a doomer, but I would call Mark doomer adjacent as my... Uh, good buddy Jeremy uh, Jimenez calls himself Doomer Adjacent is how I would, I mean, I don't know Mark, that's just, that's just my guess. But anyway, what it was, was, you know, was the first time that my Doomer worldview was presented, you know, to a general audience that doesn't dwell down here in the in the dark netherlands of <clears throat> YouTube. And, <laughs> I, you know, I guess it was pretty much what I expected. Uh, the, the feedback I received, pretty much what I expected. I was, <clears throat> my original plan for this, uh, for this video was just to go on and read some of my favorite love letters from normies. <laughs> and there are some very good ones on there, but uh, you can go read those yourself. You can go over to that video. I will put the link on here one more time. Uh, if you haven't heard that video or read the comments, particularly if you are a doomer, and I do want to welcome our new 900 subscribers uh, 900 new subscribers so I guess somebody liked what uh, I had to say I notice I have over 3,000 thumbs up so I, I, I guess my doomer message uh, got it was appreciated by somewhere between 900 and 3,000 people but of course uh, I, you know, obviously, I haven't read all 2,400 comments. Just, you know, just perusing them real quickly. I am guessing that 75% of them were negative. You know, talking trash about me, which was expected. You know, you go on a, a, a non-doomer channel and call 99% of the planet uh, normies, you know, somewhere on the continuum between uh, clueless morons and apocalyptimists. So when, when you're out there calling on a planet of 8 billion people, if you're calling, I don't know, seven point nine five billion of them uh, apocalyptimist at best and clueless morons uh, there, there's a you, you can expect what what you're gonna get 
uh, obviously, and I'm very proud of this, and this is the very prediction, uh, the, the obvious comment I made to Mark, that the vast majority of people listening to me talking about the planet would consider me a, you know, a mentally ill, blathering lunatic. They have no comprehension of anything that I said in that interview. Not, they, they completely clueless. Uh, they have no comprehension of, of anything that I said in that, what was it, about 40 minutes, I believe. And more than that, uh, they have exactly zero interest in anything I had to say in that interview or, or uh, any video I have, you know, I, I don't know, in my various iterations on YouTube, I am guessing I have had 12,000 uh, videos. Uh, and, and they had no more interest, you know what I'm saying, in, in, in hearing it. Uh, <laughs> so it's so, so that is to it is to be expected, and uh, you know I <clears throat> just as I was saying in that interview uh, that Cervantes that Miguel Cervantes five hundred years ago uh, was putting out this message. Uh, about the wrong turn that humanity had taken, uh, you know, through his character Don Quixote, and Don Quixote, i.e. Miguel uh, Cervantes, was viewed by 99% of the people he encountered, maybe 100% uh, the ones that Don Quixote encountered, uh, as a blithering fool, that, that he is the greatest literary fool in, uh, in history. And <laughs> so I, I, am, I am very proud to walk in, in good company uh, with Miguel Cervantes. <clears throat> I have never mentioned on this channel since... I do not talk about myself very much on this channel, and I'm going to take a rare interlude, and we're going to talk a little bit about myself. This is not the channel to, to talk about myself, but I'm going to uh, do that a, a little bit, what I'm getting ready to say, but, but one thing, my What's called my major arcana tarot card is the fool. The fool. It, it is the single greatest tarot card in the deck. I would not trade being guided through life uh, by the fool card for any other uh, shut up. for any other card in the deck. Uh, but of course, the fool card, 90% uh, of people encountering people like me being uh, born under the fool card. I was born on September 22nd, by the way. I was uh, born on the, uh, you know, the cusp between uh, Virgo and Libra and between summer and fall. Uh, 90% of people who meet people like me or Miguel Cervantes or Don Quixote, uh, whoever you want to call it, will automatically consider us complete blithering idiots. There are a, a tiny few people on, on the planet uh, that encounter people guided by the fool card who understand that the uh, that the fool card uh, is the greatest card in the deck and uh, so my channel is dedicated 
to those people. And so, welcome aboard the the uh, the new nine hundred uh, <clears throat> doomers uh, trying to figure out what this uh, proud, non-repentant fool uh, is talking about. But with that said, I I, I do want to uh, I, I I do want to address. A few specific things which I, I really enjoyed because you know if you've ever been interviewed by anybody or put yourself out there publicly and then you read the comments from people particularly clueless morons which is the vast majority of people who have never heard of you and uh, watch you, well, for the absolute most 40 minutes, although the vast, vast, vast majority of people leaving negative comments did not even finish the interview. But, you know, well, they, so these people, they go on a YouTube channel or whatever, they encounter somebody that ruffles their feathers, that harshes their little mellow. Okay, and, and they, 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 they tune them in for maybe five minutes, and then they know everything there is to know about that human <clears throat> being that they're watching on YouTube. Everything about them, their, their mental health, their spirituality, their political uh, leanings, uh, Everything they 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 are they are such experts in <laughs> in in, uh, in in judging humans that they can watch somebody talking about one subject and they know everything there is to know about this person and of course they come on and what comes out of their clueless moron mouth. <clears throat> is 180 <coughs> degrees wrong. Uh, so, so anyway, I, I, want, I, I want to, uh, so I'm going to address uh, a few of these. Well, first I'm going to say to all of the people uh, who did tune in to my interview and listen to five minutes of it and ran like hell, uh, you know, as I said to several of them, thank you for taking my advice. My, you know, I have two pieces of, of advice to anybody uh, is don't breed. And if you are not familiar with what I talk about on this channel and you're just sticking your little toe down in here, what we call the doomosphere, my advice to you, just like I said on that interview with Mark, run like hell. Get the hell out of here as quick as you can. So everyone who went on that interview, dip there a little time for about five minutes and do anything I have to say about the state of the planet and ran like hell, they took my advice. You're taking the advice of a fool. All right, so they, they played right into my hands like the little fish they are. Played right into my hands and, and, and ran like hell. Goodbye, good riddance. Uh, as I told Mark, I have exactly zero interest in uh, convincing one clueless moron normie on this planet that they uh, that, that that they should embrace doomerism. Now, if if I could just convince one one hundredth percent of the people that I convince to run like hell when they when they meet someone like me to not breed. Uh, I, I would really be accomplishing something, but I, I, I do want to thank uh, the hundreds, if not thousands, of people who listened to what I, I had to say and ran like hell. 
I am jealous. I wish to hell when I first stuck my little toe down here in the Doomosphere that I had taken my advice and run like hell. So that takes care uh, uh, of the vast majority of people who left comments that this dude is the moron that he talks about, that doomers are clueless morons. Anybody who believes anything that Sam Mitchell has to say about what's going on on this planet is a clueless moron. So, <clears throat> The word moron <clears throat> was probably uh, applied more than any other uh, term. And, you know, turnabout's fair play. You know, touche, <clears throat> you clueless morons. I think you're clueless morons. You think I'm a clueless moron. We're, we're even. So, not so concerned about them, but there's... There, but there, there's, there's three, I, I guess, major comments that I want to address that weren't just about that. And how, what order do I want to take them in? I want to talk about the N-word. <clears throat> the people who uh, labeled me the N-word, meaning narcissist. This whole term narcissist, it has become just so overused and misunderstood what a narcissist is. Now, I admit there are other places on the, uh, it, uh, on the internet where my evil twin has been labeled a narcissist many times. But over here on this channel, on Collapse Chronicles, you know, I am wondering if I, if I have ever been, until the last 24 hours, labeled a narcissist. And I, I, I'm just a little unclear what this is about. So if, if you don't understand this, uh, Mark and I got together, and the reason that he flew me out here from New York uh, to interview me because he had never uh, interviewed a Doomer, and he was thrilled to get the chance to uh, you know to find out about uh, about what's in the minds of Doomers. So I came out here. The assignment was. You know, spend 30 or 40 minutes talking about doomers and doomism or, or whatever term you want to, uh, collapsitarians or whatever the term you want to use about. Uh, it, it, he did not bring me out here for me to talk about myself and my life. I mean, if you notice in the interview, he always starts out his interviews, but we dispatched, we got through that in two minutes. And the rest of the interview had nothing to do with me personally. Uh, so I, I, I'm a little unclear. So I, I come on here and I talk for 30, 40 minutes about my opinion, uh, uh, you know, my understanding of what it means to be a doomer. So anybody who is answering the question, what does it mean to be a doomer, and you answer, you give an, uh, a, an honest, straight-ahead answer of what it means to you to be a doomer, you're a narcissist. And I loved it. I, I, ironically, then there was another group but smaller than the people calling me a narcissist saying that I really wish Sam had talked more about his own life. You know, you can't win. But, but I, I, just, you know, I just don't get this shit about being a narcissist. So let's say, uh, okay, I was 
a real estate agent and a house flipper for years, and I still flip uh, real estate. So if Mark, and I could have talked for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, or six hours, or six days about how to flip houses. So if, I, so if Mark and I were having a conversation, and Mark was asking me about flipping houses, and I was telling him about flipping houses, would I be a narcissist? If Mark, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a gardener, I'm a big organic gardener. I could talk uh, on and on about, uh, you know, about how to orga be an organic gardener. If that had been the subject, instead of, uh, would I be a nar if I had come on here and talked about organic gardening, instead of being a doomer, would I be a narcissist? So anyway, I, I just don't get, I, I, I don't get that one. But uh, it, it was interesting to see how many of these clueless morons labeling somebody a narcissist for answering somebody's questions. Anyway, so we got the narcissist and the, and the other big one uh, was that I am a lefty. I, that, that Sam Mitchell is a lefty, and I, I mean, over and, I mean, uh, you know, lefty, libtard, and, and the absolute biggest insult of all, a hell of a lot uh, worse than being called a moron or a narcissist. You know, I, I remember coming across three comments from people calling me woke, that word woke. Uh, <laughs> anybody who knows me, uh, for, to have uh, somebody call Sam Mitchell woke. Now, I, I do like to, to think I am awakened. There's a difference. That, that, that whole word woke, okay? If on any level you consider yourself to be woke, you are probably farther away from me politically than a Trump tard. All right, so uh, and, and, and so you know, I go back and listen to the video. And I'm thinking, okay. Where did people, anybody listening to this video, get the absolutely ridiculous notion that Sam Mitchell is a lefty? Well, I went to it, so I guess it was because of my ironic reference, you know, that uh, quote from Hillary Clinton uh, calling anybody, you know, people who voted for Donald Trump the basket of deplorables. Smartest thing she ever said. The basket of deplorables that support Donald Trump. <coughs> now, of course, the irony in that is that anybody who voted, they, they, uh, you got the basket of deplorables who, who voted for Donald Trump. If I could, if I had to think of, of one basket of deplorables, you know, like this far away, from the basket of deplorables who voted for Donald Trump, it would be the basket of deplorables who voted for Hillary Clinton. I mean, nobody, uh, uh, other than Donald Trump, nobody on this planet knows the definition of basket of deplorables <laughs> better, than, better than Hillary Clinton. Uh, I, you know, people uh, talking about <clears throat> how Sam Mitchell voted for Joe Biden. Uh, it, it, yes, uh, so I guess, you know, I'm listening to that. So, and, and then the other part where maybe people think that I am a lefty is where I talk about that I used to be a left-wing, radical, progressive, social justice warrior, environmental muckraker. 
uh, back uh, in the early 1980s, I, I, I was definitely right down the middle. I, I was, you know, the last time I voted for president, I voted for Jesse Jackson in, uh, in, in 1988. So there was certainly a time in my life where I was a, what's now considered a lefty. Uh, I, I joke around that, uh, that I went so far to the left, that I went so far to the left uh, that I actually spend more time, you know, agreeing with hardline right-wingers than I do with what uh, I call the soft left, or what my evil twin calls lefties. Uh, I, am, I am fully with Chris Hedges. What was the name of Chris's excellent book? Was it Death of the Liberal Class? I am embarrassed what has happened to the left in this country what they call the left in this country, these woke AOC worshiping, uh, they, 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 you know, these people buying the bright green lie uh, of all of these bright green, these little greenies. Uh, I, I am every bit, <clears throat> I, I am more embarrassed for the soft left in this country than I am uh, for the hard right. I would rather be misidentified as a Donald Trump supporter than an AOC supporter. Uh, I, I, I want anybody just coming down here to understand that if you think you're coming down here to listen to, you know, that crap, I want nothing to do with it. I am embarrassed that I ever called myself a lefty. Okay? And the same thing for an environmentalist. I am not an environmentalist. If you're new to this channel and thinking that you're coming down here to hear some mainstream environmentalists talk about the state of this planet, you are in the wrong place. I am not an environmentalist. I am a doomer. Okay, so I'm trying to, any misconceptions, uh, while I'm on this. Now, interestingly, guys, and I have to give some credit, I don't believe this, to my nemesis. There is this uh, asshole out there. His name is Sat12. Sat12 is the single biggest, he, he's not just a troll. Sat12 is, is a stalker. He is the closest thing I have ever had to a stalker. Uh, Sat12 is an environmentalist. He is an apocaloptimist, mainstream environmentalist who has dedicated his life to trash talking me. He, uh, he is like, you know, when you get a booger stuck on the, and no matter what you do with this, with this booger, and no matter, it, it keeps like, you can't get, get it off. I, I can't get rid of this guy. He prob, my guess is Sat12 left 200 comments to my video. The guy is, is, is absolutely obsessed with me. And his misunderstandings of me are absolutely hilarious. But I got to give Sat12, dude, I got to give you some credit. Sat12 understands better than anybody because he is probably, as far as I know, Sat12 uh, sits here and, and listens to every single word that I say. So on one level, Sat12 is my single biggest fan. He is a sick, 
twisted, mentally ill, dangerous stalker troll. If you ever get this dude sat 12 showing up in your life, ban him. He is bad news. He is dangerous. He should be arrested and put in prison. If I ever get murdered, it is by a fellow, either Sat12 or Reagan Parenton, uh, who murdered me down here. But even Sat12 understands I am not a lefty and I am not an environmentalist. So thank you, Sat12, for trying to explain to people that Sam Mitchell is not a lefty or an environmentalist. Okay, and the third thing, of course, it's not, now this is not that I was surprised about. I was absolutely unsurprised. And that is this whole thing with these uh, comedians uh, who, who think that they are so funny. Whenever they hear a person saying that there are too many humans on this planet and that we need fewer humans on this planet, their immediate hilarious knee, knee slapper is, why don't you lead by example, meaning kill yourself. I had more people in the past 24 hours asking me to kill myself than in any 24-hour period. I have probably uh, had more people requesting my suicide in one day than anybody listening to this has in their entire life. And, you know, my... And, and there's two related to that. So there was the suicide, and then there, there was the vasectomy. Thank God this guy got a vasectomy. Uh, you know, that hilarious joke. And then the third one was this guy, you know, must be a hit at parties. <clears throat> so obviously anybody, uh, any clueless moron a uh, comedian out there making any of those three claims obviously did not listen to the video where I, you know, where I told anybody sharing the worldview that I have, keep your damn mouth shut. You will not win friends and influence people. I do not talk about this subject at parties. I understand that, in, in, and this is true, even if I encounter a doomer at a party, there's a time and place for everything. If I encounter a doomer talking about this shit at, at, at a party, I shut it down and change the conversation. I have no more desire to talk about this at a party then, then, then I have no more desire to listen to this shit at a, at a party than anybody else does. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, and th th this whole thing about, uh, y y you know, committing suicide to save the planet. Now, I did for years have a bumper sticker, save the planet, kill yourself. <coughs> But again, they have never, you know, it's the practice what you preach, you know, that line over and over again, you know, practice what you preach. <coughs> and once again, they have never listened to a, a word I am saying. Uh, I have never preached increasing the death rate. I have never advocated suicide as a way to reduce the population. Uh, I have advocated getting yourself sterilized before, preferably before you have your first child. I do not advocate increasing the death rate. I advocate decreasing the birth rate and it is the one decision, well, uh, up to a point that you can make to get yourself sterilized, 
hopefully before your first child, which is exactly what I did. So if these clueless morons cared to listen to anything I had to say, I practice what I preach. I got myself sterilized at age 22 before I ever brought any children on to this planet. I practice what I preach. Get yourself sterilized, hopefully before you have any children. So, there you go. Anybody, any clueless moron telling Sam Mitchell to practice what he preaches, that is exactly what I do, or did, uh, 41 years ago. And anyway, before I wrap it up uh, and, and get back to my reg regularly scheduled program, the, 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 the other thing that I just have to touch on is how many comments from these clueless morons talking about how, how I did not back up my, that, that I provided no evidence to back up my contention that humans are the problem on this planet. I was invited by Mark to spend 30 to 40 minutes trying to put in 14 years of research. I have, again, in several uh, iterations, but I'm mainly uh, talking about Collapse Chronicles, I have spent pretty much every day the past four years offering evidence why humans are the problem. I have interviewed well over 100 people offering evidence why humans are the problem on this planet. What do they think? You get 30 or whatever clueless moron I'm going to leave a comment like this. So uh, you, get, you get put on a camera and told you have 30 minutes to tell us everything about whatever subject. Uh, you're supposed to distill 14 years of research into 30 minutes. Good luck. You, you, you know, the, 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 the level uh, of ignorance and cluelessness and these people having no interest <clears throat> in hearing my four years of, uh, of presenting evidence why this planet is in the shape we're in. But anyway, <coughs> I'm going to wrap this up and uh, get back tomorrow to my regularly scheduled program of presenting evidence <coughs> why humans are the problem. So anybody who has any interest in this subject is welcome aboard. Well, anybody who has any interest in the biggest story uh, in the history of mankind uh, is welcome aboard and uh, join the club. And if you want to find out more about my personal life, uh, you can, starting January 1st, you will be able to do that elsewhere on YouTube. I will be offering a lot more information about my personal life. My personal life is not, my teeny weeny little life has nothing to do with what I am doing on this channel. Nothing. So take that from the old narcissist himself. Uh, and you can also uh, always email me at collapsechronicles at gmail.com. Uh, so, uh, I, 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 <laughs> I, I won't make any comments about uh, my, my doomer chick forever. <clears throat> I, I did, uh, I, I have heard from a couple of doomer chicks uh, 
in the comment section at Mark's and I told them, uh, darling, I'm easy to find. Uh, if you are a Doomer chick, uh, I am available and you can find me at collapsechronicles at gmail.com, darling, and uh, we will see where this leads us. And I'm going to leave it there. And uh, speaking, uh, well, not Doomer Chicks, but uh, I actually have to get together for lunch with a, uh, a new friend I have made down here in the Doomosphere. I'm going to go have some Indian food with a new friend I have made. And I highly suggest you get out there and make some new friends in the Doomosphere while you still can. Bye, guys.